Hello, this is my video of my 1979 Ferrari 308 GTS. Uh, she's a carburetor model, um, very desirable, has the four Weber carbs on there. And uh, I'm going to have a look around the car. I've had her for about seven years and spent a lot of money um, putting her right. But she was a very, very good car to start with, which uh, was half the battle. Um, originally ordered in 1979 by Marinello and uh, with the optional front uh, spoiler, wide wheels, fog lights and air conditioning although the air conditioning compressor has since been removed which to be honest you don't really need it anyway with uh, being, being a GTS um, but uh, it could always be put back in and um, like I say we've uh, had, I've had her for about seven years about uh, two years ago I did a full bare metal respray on her and uh, there's photographs uh, to show that and upon stripping all the previous paint off uh, we discovered that uh, there was no rust on it. Um, a 1979 Ferrari with uh, no rust. Um, pretty amazing. Uh, but she had been owned by a gentleman called John Woodford, who owned a company called Emblem Sports Cars. And this was his retirement car. So when he retired, he uh, basically had this rebuilt uh, a cost of around £20,000 and um, kept it for himself until his passing um, in the late 90s. And, uh, you know, if you own a uh, my logic was if you owned a Ferrari dealership um, you're hardly going to give yourself um, a, a rough car so um, you know she was a very very good car uh, so very low ownership and uh, like I say it's been very well looked after and as we walk around the car you'll see how good the condition is she's finished in Chiaro Red and you see the reflection in the bonnet there um, there's obviously no marks or scratches or anything like that on the car so I'm not going to sort of point anything out because Basically, there isn't anything. Um, she is as she should be. And you can see by the reflection in the paint. It's just the shape on this car. It's just wonderful. She always starts first time. Um, they're a doddle to own. All the parts and things are really accessible. Um, really cheap to buy. A company called Superformance. That's where I get most of my parts for work from. Uh, cam belts are about £200 to replace. Uh, as you'll see shortly, uh, you could literally walk around the engine, there's that much room in there, unlike modern cars. And of course you just, you don't need any diagnostics kit or anything like that, you know, if she's got fuel and spark, she should run. Which inevitably she does and runs really, really well. I've not done a lot of miles in her, she pretty much, which to be honest is the only reason I, I'm looking at selling her. All she really does is just sit in my garage and I have a little calendar that mark on it when I've taken her out for a run. And um, I don't go any more than about 10 or 15 miles in her, mainly I just don't, don't have the time. Uh, so really she has just been a piece of artwork um, uh, that I've kind of looked after and cherished and really enjoyed. show you inside, got full black leather interior. She's in lovely condition. Those lovely 70s chrome toggle switches, absolutely superb. And everything seems to uh, work, as I said, apart from the aircon which has been removed. All the gauges there. Um, the speedometer works, although the mileometer uh, stopped working at some point when she went in for um, to be resprayed. Re but um, my uh, mechanic says it's the sender unit on the engine, which I think they're about seventy-five pounds or something like that. But I've just never bothered uh, doing it because I don't use her enough. That's the that's the thing. But, uh, door pockets there. And we've got the uh, roof in the back there, which is just tucked in behind, but we've got the proper cover and everything for her, and all the handbooks and everything as well. Which, um, I'll show you under the bonnet here. Uh, the spare wheel does come with the car, although it's out at the moment because I have her on trickle charge. Uh, but as you can see, it's really, really nice. Uh, we had all the suspension and everything rebuilt um, about four years ago with all new bushes, had all the arms and everything taken off and uh, shot blasted and resprayed and uh, had all that replaced. And there's that lovely engine, look at that, fabulous. But like I say, you could walk around it, there's so much room in here. 
and as you can see the cam belts are really easy to get at. The spark plugs are about 99p each. Uh, I know because when I first got it the carbs weren't set up properly and uh, she kept coking up and it was cheaper just to replace the spark plugs and take them out and clean them. So um, like I said the carbs are all set up lovely now so it runs really well. There's a chassis plate on there if you can see that. And there's a cover on the back here, and inside we've got the uh, cover for the hood, and also the jack and the toolkit with the all important spark plug remover. Um, yeah, to remove the spark plugs, you need a special tool which uh, Sir Ferrari supplied, uh, which fortunately is in there. So changing plugs and things is a is a doddle. Um, but as I say, there's nothing to it. It's it's good old-fashioned technology. There's no computers, no electronics. Um, you know, as long as she's got fuel and spark, it should uh, run merrily, which, uh, as I say, she, she does. But, uh, as I say, we spent a lot of money on the paint job, and it does show, you know, in the finish of the car, as you can see, it really is spectacular. And the passenger side. as I say. Well, it's a shame to see her go. But, uh, it's pointless just sitting here, bless it. Um, the wheels, we had all those paint stripped so that um, we didn't lose any of the detailing in the writing that's on them. Um, so they were all properly done. And the correct colour for the car as well. I'll try and show you on the back, see under the wheel arches. Bit good the car really is. Uh, all the brakes are rebuilt as well, we had all those done um, when we did the suspension. Look at the shape of it, it's just such a beautiful shape. Look at that, absolutely lovely. What a beautiful car. Anyway, there she is, um, off to auction on the uh, 25th of. July at Silverstone Auctions and should you have any questions please give Silverstone Auctions a call. Thanks very much. Thank you for watching.